Hi everyone, David Maley here from Tech Know How, and today I'm going to show you some really cool stuff. We're going to show you how to quickly get the total through a sum function, and then we're also going to give you the running total. I'm going to show you how to do all that and a little bit of data cleansing on the side. So let's get started. I got pizza data for a small pizza business that just literally opened. It's got one store and it's got count amount. Date is wrong. Obviously, you look at that, that doesn't look right. So let's fix that one first. So let's just go here and format that column real quick and make it into um, eight. So let's do that correctly, okay? And then uh, we got customer number, group, transaction number, and I've already got running total in there. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first, let's start with total. So obviously we've got totals down here. We've got count, we've got amount. You could obviously write equals sum of, and then go select this whole column here, and then do the same thing here. Why do that when we don't have to? All I've gotta do is go up here, see this auto sum right here? Next to it is sum. Sometimes your, your ribbon might show a little bit different. It might have it to the right here. In my case, it's right here. All I'm going to do is hit this button right here. I'll make it gives me the sum. It already gives me that whole um, column area selected correctly. And all I need to do is hit enter. And then I can do the same thing for over here. I could have done it for both. Actually, let's do that. Let me show you that. So all I have to do is literally select both of these just like that. Go to auto sum. Don't select auto sum. Just select sum. And there you go. They're both already summed up. Now, obviously, amount is showing as a number we probably want to have that as currency so let's go here and it's now correctly as currency this is a number and we also want to have it as what probably in case there's any cents right so we need to have decimal places of two because we're showing currency people could have something that's you know got some tax in it in this case it's not but if it did it would show it correctly um, also then you got running total run total is a little bit different so what we're going to do here is i'm um, using the count right and not the amount Actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm using amount, not count. My mistake. And um, what I'm going to do here is obviously I could take this and turn this into current. I was just throwing me off there a little bit because I already did change the other one. Let's do that here. Hit OK. So we've got currency. And for some weird reason, we're missing the uh, dollar. Oh, because we somehow we picked currency and went back to number. There we go. So now we've got that correctly. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to take this and run the total on down so what we're going to do here is look at this i've got instead of what you're looking at here when you're doing that um, i've got some same way but look at this i've got d right and it's putting the dollar sign in front of the d and the dollar sign for the one it's saying this exact field right here okay for that first one to what d2 well what's d2 so it's taking d1 which is nothing right that's the that's this right here the amount okay and then we're going to go to this field d2 so what it's doing, and then when I do that, it gives me 10, right? That's what this is. But then I carry it down and it automatically, see how it does that? D1 stays the same because you put dollar sign D, dollar sign one, which means I want that exact field in that exact column. And then it's gonna carry that down correctly and fill in the other part, which is D3, D4, D5, D6. I don't have to do anything else. All I have to do is that one first uh, formula right here and then I just hit right here and carry it on down. See, and it carries on down to as long as I have data in the field I'm pulling from, which is amount. And what it does, it gives me the running total. So I've got total amount of everything is 190, right? And I've got the running total of how it builds up to 190. Now, do not run this down past this point because what it'll do is it'll take that 190 here and it'll add that 190 here and throw you off and give you a bigger number. You're like, well, how did my running total get to be bigger? It did not. It doesn't. So the running total does not go into the total column. Okay, so you just run that on down to here, not down to here. And you'll see this tells you, so at this point in the day, like if you had a time field here, you might be able to say, I don't have that, it's just got date. But if I had a time field, I might on that day show that, you know, at uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, we have $100 made. At three o'clock, we have such and such made. That's where the running total comes in really handy, especially for a new business that's starting up. You can see where your points are that you're making more of your, most of your money and how your business is running throughout the day. Hope you found this interesting and informational. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day. Thanks.